Hey, hello everybody. If you have a Wheel McLean uh, boiler and your uh, relief valve is constantly dripping, I'm going to show you how to change that today. Uh, first thing you want to do is you do want to play with it because sometimes just a little mineral hardness gets in there and you can kind of flip it up and down and it'll reseat itself and that might solve your, uh, your leak right there. Um, if it continues to leak, when you do that trick, then you probably want to swap out this valve, but at the same time, you want to check your, um, uh, your pressure tank. So my pressure tank's up here. If your bladder inside breaks, this whole thing is going to fill with water. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on it, and I can hear down here that it is hollow, there's no water, so I'm not going to uh, worry about this tank. All I'm going to do today is I'm going to swap out this valve. So okay. First thing you want to do is kill power to your boiler. Alright, next we're going to find the cold water feed to the furnace and turn it off. And I've got... Alright, third, let's find the boiler drain. I'm going to hook up a hose. I've run this hose outside a back door and I'm opening this up. Okay, while my boiler is draining, I'm going to flip that relief valve again and I'm going to wait until I don't see any water coming out of that relief valve pipe. Once that stops dripping, that means the water is low enough and I can change out that valve. Okay, so my relief valve has, is no longer dripping, so I'm going to turn off or I'm going to close the boiler drain. Okay, I'm ready to change out that valve. I do have a long extension pipe that allows me to put it into a bucket, so I'm going to have to uh, get a little creative and loosen it and then get that pipe off so I can fully then remove that valve. Okay, so I'm just going to get this pipe on here. Just get it twisted enough so that now I can start to rotate this thing free. Here's a close-up of the inside of my old pressure relief valve. You can see that thing is junk. Here's my replacement valve. I picked this up at Lowe's for about 16 bucks. I'm going to put Teflon tape on those threads and put it on real quick because my boiler is dripping onto that pipe a little bit. Okay, I've got my Teflon tape on. Got it hand tight. And I want to remember where I was about to screw on that extra drain pipe. It was right about there. So again, I'm going to replace my Teflon tape on here. Okay, as I get water back into my boiler, I'm going to put a bucket here just in case uh, anything leaks. Okay, I've opened up my cold water feed and I'm going to let the furnace uh, run water a little bit to uh, get as much air out as possible. I am not going to uh, purge the zones, although some of you may feel that's necessary. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, you can watch some other YouTube videos. And uh, once I let the uh, water run, through uh, the boiler drain for about two or three minutes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fire back up the boiler. All right, I've flipped my burner back on and everything's back to normal.